So for today, we're going to be looking at the Assassin's Creed armor. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Warlock pieces. And if you guys don't know, we usually take all of the pieces from an armor set and make individual sets with them. Uh, I think it's really fun. It, it, it like helps me get out of my comfort zone. And I'm really happy I do these because sometimes I find like some bangers of a set. Like this one, you guys will have two. And I think the helmet for sure is a banger, especially when you see the uh, remade version because... I did remake it and we'll go in game to show you because I actually didn't record it. And I also have a few things to explain about the Assassin's Creed set. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Titans, Hunters, you guys have your own video. They're right here for the Hunter and the Titan is right here. So if you guys want to check it out, those videos are super, super dope. Some of my favorite sets that I've made this season. And if you guys want to see the Assassin's Creed armor review video i'll have it up right now again we go over the armor how it shaders my thoughts on it and just overall it's a review it's nothing too crazy like the video comment subscribe i really do appreciate it but other than that let's let's look at some, some of these dope ass sets so for this one uh just be aware that this one has changed a bit so uh, and when i say a bit i literally mean just the boots and the bond are changed but i still think this looks cool uh for the helmet eagle's he hood is an easy choice considering we're using the assassin's creed armor but for the arms we're using arc light gloves with painted kitsune robes as a combo and then electro mag stabilizers because uh it's it's arc related specifically arc light gloves and it has lightning so i was like fuck it we'll use we'll do it with an arc build because that makes the most sense to me and then painted kitsune robes has a lot of like electricity going through the robes so I thought that was a really good combo. And then Electromag Stabilizers. I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, Geomags is a good choice, especially if you have the other ornament from this season. I immediately regret not getting that because when I put on the Arclight gloves with the painted Kitsune set, I immediately thought, ooh, the new Geomags is going to look good with this because the new Geomags actually has like openings on the sides that have electricity coming out. Unfortunately, I don't have that ornament. So for me, Electromag Stabilizer is going to be the best choice. And then for the Bond, Prefactus Bond, Prefactus, Prefectus Bond uh, was not an easy choice. It was just a choice I made because that's the Bond I usually go with when I want to go for a, like an electrical look because it kind of looks like, I don't know what did it, like a battery. I don't know where my head was going for that one, but that's the one I used for the Shader Sato Tribe is an easy choice just because it's blue and it also gives this really cool like texture on cloth so that's why i'm using it again be aware that i do change it we're going to go over it once i go over all of the ar other armor sets but just be aware that this set is going to change dramatically and i think that a new set just looks way better for the next set i ended up using the arms for the assassin's creed armor set and this one's pretty interesting because i actually pretty much like how everything came out so for the helmet we're using paint painted kitsune hood with the golden trace shader because if you guys don't know, Painted Kitsune Helmet actually takes the off color, which Golden Trace's off color is white. So that's why I'm using Golden Trace because it gives me a white plate with gold, uh, with a gold color on the eyes, which is so perfect. And then everything else Cal is selected because I wanted a white and gold. For the chest piece, Nimi and Robes uh, was an easy choice because I knew I wanted to use the Sikan filaments with the rain uh, ray ray on it ray ray onint tracery there we go that's how you say that uh i wanted to use that ornament because it looks super cool and because i wanted another uh source of glow which the boots have it and the bond also has it which we're using the marine constellation bond i really like that bond it's nothing special you can literally use anything else that glows but for me i like that one a lot so for this one, I kind of went with a bougie look just because the arms have like like the the right side has like this really cool like uh, texture and like gold as well. So I kind of wanted to retain that gold side. And then for the other side, it's just a little bit bigger, which helps the like forearm or the bicep not look as empty. And yeah, not, nothing too much to say about this one. I just kind of like went with my gut with this one. Because again, the arms, uh, because for me personally, the arms are just kind of boring. So I wanted to spice it up, I guess you would say. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think about this one. For real, like my, my pride and joy about this is the fact that I decided to put Golden Trace on it because it just looks super, super cool. And then when you see Golden Trace, you're just like, I would not have expected Golden Trace to be that shader. 
but again when you're talking about off colors golden trace is really good for this and this is also why i really pride myself in knowing off colors of shaders because then you have situations like this where you would never know golden trace a black and gold shader would have a white off color so yeah just goes to show you you should know your shaders as for the chest piece i ended up going for apothesis veil as the exotic for the arms we're using the street scholar gloves specifically because one side has that like leather uh shoulder pad and i wanted to have something there as well to have like some armor even though it should have gone on the other side but again i was I, the chess piece for me personally is probably the most boring piece from the whole set um and it's also the most annoying piece for me personally because i think the uh the bicep and like the bicep and below and even up to a certain extent is just way too empty for me and it's just gonna make a lot of arms look boring which for the arm street scholar gloves again i think i explained this already but if the if the street scholar bond like the armor piece was on the other side i think this look, would, would look way cooler do be aware we do have arms that basically switch this so you could use those arms instead for the boots forbidden visage boots was a choice that i made uh but on high in hindsight i probably would use something else something a little bit with more leather because i do think for forbidden visage does not match well with this because it's too much gold especially when you start to really see the rotation of my warlock you can see a lot of gold in there and then street scholar bond for the bond because i wanted some color there to match the helmet so the shader we're using is first frost i love this shader the shader or yeah this shader is like one of my favorite shaders in the game i use it quite a bit but i don't have much to say about this one just because the chest piece for me is just very very lackluster i think it's just the fact that the arms are way too skinny uh specifically the bicep and below and up like it's just way too skinny it needs to have a little bit more i don't know like something else bro i just feel like it's too empty everything else looks super dope though like the skirt i think is super cool the waist is super cool i even think the neck and shit is super cool it's just i think the arms are just way too empty that makes the set look empty so let me know what you guys think in the comments below watch everyone be like that's your best one i would probably cry a little because uh we still have one more set to look at but once you see like the set that i have currently i think you guys are gonna be like oh that's that's a good one speaking of the last piece we're gonna be looking at the boots eagles boots this one is pretty interesting because you can do a lot of things with this one it is boring i'll give you that right there it's boring as a motherfucker but the good thing is because it looks so boring and kind of like plain you can really combine it with like your cowboy looks uh li literally stuff like that i have it with inspector robes just because i'm not going for anything too bougie because the helmet alone is already that bougie so for the helmet obviously we're using the don chorus don chorus is like one of my favorite looking ex exotics i just think it looks super super cool for the arms iron companion gloves because i like the covering of like the le leather covering it has it reminds me of the boots and then vernal growth because i wanted a little bit more gold in there so this one shader wise is pretty funny because i wanted to use regal daring i really like that shader but i also wanted to have the helmet gold and unfortunately regal daring doesn't give you a gold helmet it gives you like a white helmet and then in the back there's gold and yeah i wanted to choose i wanted some gold in there which is why i'm using gold leaf and then oiled gunmetal for the bond because i wanted a completely black bond because the gold doesn't change color so i don't really have to worry about the the gold changing color but i like this set a lot i think it looks super cool especially since like everything else looks like i i kind of look like a fucking bounty hunter with just an extra ass helmet and i think that's super funny so that's pretty much it for those sets let's actually go in game real quick and as you guys can see i am pretty much using almost every piece the same as the first set with the addition to mind striders specifically the uh transverse steps the ornament mind striders i really like this ornament it's so so fucking cool and for the bond we're using psionic speaker bond because i think it looks a little bit better than the other one that i was using and the shader reason sinking feeling because of the electrical pulsating shit that's going everywhere it's such a good shader and this is pretty funny because this is where you can really like start mixing matching stuff because right now i have the arc light gloves and the painted kitsune robes if you were if you want you could just do something like this uh where are you 
and then for this one i think it's the front yeah you could also do something like this which i think it's too much of the blue which at that point i would probably just switch out shaders for something else But you also have to remember that you, you want to retain some some blue speci specifically for the like glow. So that way it matches the glow on the chest piece. So I think this looks super cool. I like legitimately was wilding when I made this set because I think I was I was kind of bored of the traditional transversive step look, uh, look that I have, which is a Vex look. I've had that for a long time and I just decided let's just do something else and I think this looks amazing. If you were to tell me you're going to make one of your favorite sets with the helmet from the Assassin's Creed set for the Warlocks, I would have laughed at you because I was like, I don't think I can, I don't think I'm going to make anything cool with that. And I think this looks amazing. Granted, uh, this may just be a, uh, one of those situations where everything looks cool and the helmet, you can really switch out for anything else, which granted, I think that might be the case. Yeah, I think that is the case, it, but still, I think uh, I think this is a good helmet to choose if you don't find anything else. So, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Which one is your favorite set? Me, personally, I like the one with Sinking Feeling as a shader because I think that shader looks amazing. And overall, the electrical pulsating of everything looks super, super cool. But I, I don't know. It's pretty, it's pretty rough because I do think the Assassin's Creed armor for the Warlocks is pretty boring in some some aspects like a lot like actually a lot of it's boring and i think the helmet and i think the helmet's the only cool piece if i'm gonna be honest with you guys like I, the other pieces are just kind of bland so warlocks let me know what you guys think in the comments below i appreciate you guys getting up to this point uh be safe and i'll see you guys later